Nintendo Wii here and welcome to my best exclusive game. Okay, let's start with the NES or the Nintendo Entertainment System and my best exclusive game for that system is Mega Man 4. The main difference between this and the ones before it is the fact that you can charge up your shot by holding down the shoot button and then release it to fire a much stronger shot. Next up is the SNES or Super Nintendo, and my number one exclusive game for that machine is the amazing action RPG Illusion of Time. Next up is the N64, and of course the best exclusive game for that system is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Next up is the game key, and of course I'm fit for one and only Metroid Prime. I picked this over Super Mario Galaxy 2 because this was the first Mario Galaxy game. It's got the wow factor that Mario 2 doesn't have. The first time I played this it was just incredible so that's why this is the number one exclusive game on the Wii. <laughs> pick one but they narrowed it down to just three games. Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, another code two memories and Time Hollow. All three of these games have fantastic stories so if you if you uh, want a game with a lot of good story for the DS definitely get either of these three. The Kingdom Hearts games are a lot more action-packed. Time Hollow is probably the most story orientated out of the three and another Code 2 memory has more, puzz has more puzzles, but also a good story as well. So if you're after a really good story, get Time Hollow. If you're after a good story and good puzzles, get another Code. And if you're after a good story but some action elements as well, then get Kingdom Hearts. Simple as that.
my number one exclusive game for the Game Boy Advance is Zelda The Minish Cap. My top exclusive game for the Game Boy Color is Zelda Oracle of Ages. My top exclusive game for the Sega Mega Drive is of course Rocket Knight Adventures. You can check out my Let's Play on my channel for this game. It's fantastic. Just watch this. I don't even need to say what the best game on the Sega Saturn is. It's Nights into Dreams! Nights into Dreams! Nights into Dreams! The one exclusive game for the Sega Master System has to be the Master System version of Ninja Gaiden. Hey, my number one exclusive Game Boy game is Donkey Kong Land 2. It's yellow cartridge. My number one exclusive game for the Xbox 360 is Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. My number one, my number one exclusive game for the Sega Dreamcast is Shenmue. Do you know where I could find some sailors? Okay, my best exclusive game for the Nintendo Virtual Boy is Vertical Force, a fast-paced arcade-style vertical shooter. But you get two. You get two planes, one in the foreground, one in the background, and you have to switch between them. It's a lot of fun. Now, I've asked some people on YouTube if they could send me personal messages with their top games on. So, first up is the Cool Man 11, and he chose... He chose Zelda 2 for the NES, which is a really good game, one of the best Zelda games. It is better than the first one, in my opinion. Most people think it's not, plus it comes in a lovely gold cartridge as well, which is really nice. He chose Super Mario Kart for the SNES, which is right here. Most people say this is the best Mario Kart game. I wouldn't say that. I'd say the Wii one's the best, but this is one of the best. And you can get it on the Wii now, on the Virtual Console. So definitely try that. Um, Smash Bros for the N64. Here it is. This is the original Smash Bros game, the very first one. It's not as good as Melee or Brawl, but for the N64, it's the best fight that you can get for it. It's got loads of great Nintendo characters, loads of great stages and environments. It's quite rare now, so if you can find a box with the instructions like this, it can go for quite a lot of money, so uh, be on the lookout for it. If you, get it. if you can find it cheap, definitely pick it up. And on the Wii, you chose Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is possibly my favourite Mario game ever. It really is good, but I picked Mario Galaxy 1 for my Wii thing, because it, it was more... You know, when you first play it, it's got more excitement to it, but this is the better Mario Galaxy game if you're going to pick one for the Wii. So thank you, the Cool Man 11. Go and subscribe to his channel if you want. I told everyone I'd do a shout out if they send me their game list. Thank you. Next up is Burford Gaming, so let's see what he chose. Okay, this is Burford Gaming's choice of games. He chose for the Wii the Metroid Prime Trilogy. I don't have that, but I have them all separately. The Metroid Prime Trilogy is basically Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2, and Metroid Prime 3, all on the same disc, like that, squashed together, but on one Wii cartridge, and one Wii disc instead of three discs. So, if you can find that, definitely get it, it's much better than picking all three of them up separately, and it'll probably be a lot cheaper as well. Although I think it is being made out of print, so try and get it fast if you can find it. Um, Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies, I don't actually have that one, but there's a poster up there of it, if you can see it. But I do have this one, they're more or less the same, but the new one's a lot better. One of my friends is going to have played it, it seems really good. Uh, Forza 3 for the Xbox 360, I don't have that game to show you, but I've heard that it's a really good racing game. Um, exclusively for the 360. For the NES, we chose Super Mario Bros. 3, here it is. Some people say this is the absolute classic Mario game, the best you can possibly get. Uh, it's definitely the best laid out Mario game, it's got the best level design. So many shortcuts and secrets, it's, it's crazy. So. If you, it's on the Wii now, it's only 500 points, so there's no excuse not to get that. Super Metroid for the SNES, I have that on the Virtual Console on the Wii, I finished it, it's really good. One of the best Metroid games. Mario 64, here it is, everyone must have played Mario 64 at some point. If you don't have an N64, you can either get it on the Wii or get it on the DS, it's definitely worth getting. One of the best 3D Mario games. Uh, Metroid Prime for the GameCube, I just showed you that. It's, um, 
the first 3D Metroid game. It's more of a first-person adventure than a first-person shooter, but people like to think of it as a shooter, but it's just exploring a lot. It can get a bit confusing, but it's definitely one of the better Metroid games. Uh, Crash Team Racing for the PS1. I don't have that game, but I have played the GBA version, and I suppose it would be similar. Kingdom Hearts for the PS2 is the first one. This is the one that he's referring to, I think. They're both really good games. There's a second one as well. I finished them both, and uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep's coming out soon for the PSP. So I'll definitely be getting that. Uh, Tetris for the Game Boy. The original Tetris. I couldn't find the cartridge, but everyone, everyone's played Tetris. It came bundled with the Game Boy when you brought the machine, so it's really cheap now. Everyone must have played it. Classic game. Pokemon Crystal. There it is for the Game Boy Color. Some people say this is the best Pokemon game ever. I would say Emerald is, but there you go. And Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Pants. There it is. Another great Metroid game, they're all really great, except the NES one, I don't really like that one too much, but any of the other Metroid games are definitely worth playing. For DSiWare, Mario vs Donkey Kong 3, I've got that one, it's a really fun game, it uh, makes good use of the touchscreen, and it's one of the best downloadable games you can get for the DS. And then WiiWare, Pokemon Rumble, which uh, I don't have, but I've heard it's good, so definitely get that. Thank you Burford Gaming, go and subscribe to his channel, thanks. Thanks for watching, you've got the power. Nintendo power.